ladies and gentlemen, to Tyler Cooks, where I show you how to make what I eat. Today I'm going to be making some of my absolute favorite dishes. We're going to be going with pizza, the perfect PB&J, and then we're going to finish all out with some pancakes. So without any further ado, let's get to cooking. Now, we're going to go ahead and get started with this Totino's pizza. Now, if you think we're just going to pop this bad boy straight in the oven, raw, you would be sadly mistaken. What we're going to do instead is add some spice to the mix. So we're just going to go ahead and get some of this nice little spinach out here and throw that down. Because, I mean, we all know the importance of a nice, healthy diet, healthy, healthy lifestyle is all that it's about. So we're just going to eat some here, chop up some spin, big spin boy. Um, and then we've got plenty of other ingredients we're going to add. We've got some uh, pepperoni, we've got mozzarella, we've got tons of different kinds of shredded cheese, shredded, grated, you name it, we've got it. We're going to throw that in the mix as well. So we're going to go ahead and get our nice little pizza pan out. We're going to take that pizza and just slap it right down there, right in the middle of the tray. So we're gonna start here with some nice mozzarella shredded cheese. Got some pepperoni. Got some nice little spinach that will drizzle on. Garlic powder. Italian seasoning. And Parmesan cheese. Now all that's left to do is we just gotta take this bad boy, put it in the oven at 450. Set a timer. I think now is the perfect time to move on to that perfectly crafted PB&J. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our ingredients. We're gonna grab the PB. We're gonna grab that J. Then we got that bread. That's gonna pair perfectly with our ingredients. So the first thing that you're gonna need for this exquisitely crafted sandwich is gonna be the outer, the outer lining, that bread. Right, so we have two slices of that, we'll lay them aside. We're gonna grab our squeeze grape jelly. And we're gonna do a little bit, bit of an interesting thing here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make some, make some lines. So we've got a good little chunk here that we're gonna grab. And we're gonna spread this out along the middle third of this sandwich, just like that. We're gonna put that down. And we're going to go to this other piece right here. And we're going to reverse what we just did. And we're going to put it on the outside third of the other slice of bread. So we're going to take that, we're going to spread it around. Now I know many people think this is an unorthodox way to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. However, they're wrong, and that's just an objective fact. So that's it with the jelly. We've got those three sections there. We're gonna take out our peanut butter. <laughs> now obviously you don't wanna mix that peanut butter and jelly into the peanut butter jar. So what you wanna do is you wanna take some to wipe off that excess jelly so you don't mix it into the jar because what if someone is allergic or what if something happens and you don't, you don't want that. So now we've got this clean, pristine knife <laughs> and we're gonna, we're gonna put it here into the jar, right? And we're gonna get that peanut butter out. We're gonna go ahead and put that on that middle third right here. It's all spread out. Now we're gonna get more peanut butter. <laughs> and we're gonna put it here on this bread you know, and we're gonna get this third right here. Going for a little bit more cream. And then, oh, just a little bit more than that, come on. We're gonna spread that out just along there. And then everybody knows the last, the most important step is we're gonna put those bad boys together. And let me tell you, 
have is one good peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Man, that was a good sandwich. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our final item of the night, which is the pancakes with the Publix brand pancake mix. And it calls for lots of other ingredients like flour and eggs and milk. But luckily, we have those ingredients right over there. So let's get started mixing these ingredients. First, we've got the mix. Pour our milk, dump oil. And then finally, our last ingredient is the egg. Anyways, um, let's just go ahead and get this egg cracking. Nice pour. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this in here and stir this whole mix up. Pizza timer should have gone off by now. have it folks this is another episode of tyler cooks where i make what i eat and until next time bon appetit and happy cooking